Hi, I'm John Dufour. I work at Making Music Magazine, and today our project is to make a PVC flute. So the first step is going to be cutting the length of the pipes. You have to measure the flute to 15 inches and 9 sixteenths, and I've already Mark that here on my pipe, and then we'll just, you know, saw, saw right through that. Get it started real slow. Get it going. And uh, maybe you have a better hacksaw than I do, and it can go a little bit quicker. But I already have one cut here. I printed out the PDF template that will make it a lot easier to measure out where your holes will go. And I cut it in half so it would be easier to attach to the pipe um, from, from one side of it. Make sure you get it nice and level so that it's going straight. And then I just taped it in place so that we could, so it would be easier and we wouldn't have to. Uh, be fumbling around so much with the measurements. Um, also on, on the template I mark the bits that you'll need in terms of the size of each hole. So the first hole that we're going to make is 5 sixteenths of an inch. And I've just put that bit right in here. And to make, to make the, uh, you're just going to try to go really slowly so that it doesn't catch and uh, cross our fingers and take the hole that we want and then we can neaten it up with, with the sharper blade and smooth out the inconsistencies with the sandpaper afterwards or a Dremel if you have that would be really handy for this purpose if you could get a little bit that would smooth the edges and make a nicer thing. So there's a hole. We have our, our, our cap and our flute. This is the end that the music is going to be coming out of, and this is where we need to use a cap for the PVC. You know, it fits tightly, but we're going to glue it on with the PVC cement. That's the only thing that we're going to use. The You want to apply a very little bit. around the edge and it maybe takes 20 minutes to dry and be sure it'll be dry. If you have something handy you can wipe the excess. I'm going to try to make this a little bit easier by keeping the drill bit from drifting so much I'm going to start a little place for it to rest. Notch it with my knife Try not to cut myself and see how that goes. It's rested in there. And um, do that a few times and try to chew it out. And um, I just rolled up some of, you know, a piece of the sandpaper. And Sounds better with the smooth edges rather than a sharp, a too sharp of an edge will cause a hiss. So you just want to try to smooth it up. Yeah, and that's kind of rough, but you get the idea. You just sort of smooth them, smooth them out a little bit as you go. Now we've got ourselves a flute. And the only thing left to do is to try to Figure out how to play it, and it's you know, it turns out it's not quite as easy as I thought at first, even just to get any kind of sound at all. But um, don't be discouraged, that's what the learning process is all about. Um, you can learn more about resources to learn how to play the flute on our article online. Good luck, thank you very much.